So in this video, we will go over the electron configurations for these six elements. So we'll, start, st we'll first start off with element GE. So let's get our periodic tables out. And getting the periodic tables out, GE um, is the element germanium. So um, it's right here. It has 32 electrons. Okay, 32 electrons. So um, first of all, the electrons are going to march in a specific order. And um, to get the electron configuration, we have to get uh, how the electrons are going to march to the orbitals and in what order. This is what I mean when I say specific order. So let's zoom out here in our periodic table and just go over that order here. All right, so this part here is going to be uh, the 1s, the principal quantum number 1. And uh, well, hydrogen is easy. That's 1s1. And then the second electron, the two electrons of helium, uh, they'll pair up in the s orbital, giving us 1s2. Things get a little bit more complicated as we continue to add on electrons. This region here is 2s. And then we move to the 5th, 6th, 7th, all the way to the 10th. Those uh, electrons go to the 2p orbital. And then after the 10th electron of neon, there the electrons 11 and 12 will go to the 3s orbital. And then after the 3s orbital, they will go 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and electron 18 will go to the 3p orbital. So from 2p, we go to 3s, and then finally to 3p. Notice uh, argon has filled a 3s and 3p, it's noble. Neon has filled a 2s and 2p orbital, it's noble. Helium has filled a 1s orbital, so it's noble. Noble gases fill up the orbitals, essentially is what I'm trying And then after 3p, we go to the 4s orbital. Now, the transition metals, this big rectangular block here, these are called the D block, but uh, some textbooks accurately call it the n minus 1 block. The n minus 1 block means after 4s, the electrons will start to go to the 3d orbital. Okay, so the 3d begins with scandium, and then after zinc, we fill out all 10 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Remember how the electrons go in a d orbital. Spin up and spin down. After we fill the 3d orbital, we now go to 4s. Okay, that's when we fill electron 36. Electron 37 and 38 are going to fill, oh, excuse me, 4p. Okay, 4p. <laughs> 4p, remember the p orbital. Spin up, spin up, spin up, and then down, down, down. So after the p orbital, electron 36, they're going to fill the 5s orbital. After the 5s orbital, we go to 4d, and then electron 48. Electron 49 onwards will start to fill up the 5p orbital. So notice that xenon, the noble gas xenon shown here, um, we fill up the 5s and the 5p, so that makes it noble. Completely filled 5 uh, orbital, energy level 5. After 5p, we go to 6s. After 6s, we actually take a little bit of a detour. After 6s, we take a detour and fill out the 4f region. So this is something I'm not really going to emphasize and talk about. But f has seven slots to fill up 14 electrons. These are the lanthanides and actinides, the sort of rare earth elements. So we fill up 58 to 71. And then <clears throat> after that, from 4f, we go to 5d. And then from 5d, we go to 6p. Okay, coming back to the lanthanides and actinides, uh, these are called the n minus 2 block, while the transition metals are the n minus 1 block. The lanthanides, actinides are the n minus 2 block. So you take your n, subtract 2, just like uh, you did for the transition metals. We take n and subtract 1 uh, differentially. All right, after 6p, uh, we fill out 7s, and then from 7s, we fill out the electrons to go to 5f. Okay, and then after 5f, we zoom back out here to the 6d orbital, 
And then from the 6D orbital, um, this is kind of not really filled out in this version of the periodic table. It's 7P. But um, everything here from, you know, 6D, 7P is just kind of um, still yet to be discovered or we just don't know much information about it. So the order of how the electrons go marching in is like this. Now that we can, we know that we can figure out the electron configuration of germanium. Okay, so let's look at germanium here. We got 32 electrons. So out of those 32 electrons, uh, 18 electrons are going to go to argon. So let's write this out here, the electron configuration for germanium. For germanium, we have 32 electrons and 18 are going to come from argon. Okay, so after argon, we go to 4s2, 3d10. 4s2, 3d10, 4p1, 4p2. And that would be the electron configuration of germanium. Um, a lot of times uh, I'd like to have them, now this is uh, totally up to you, I'd like to place them in order of principal quantum number, n. So I usually like to have the three come before the four, sort of keep it in sequence. Totally up to you. You can do it this way or that way. That's totally fine. Okay, the next element on our list is iron. So let's look at iron in our periodic table. Iron in our periodic table is 26 electrons. The nearest noble gas of iron is going to be, so we're going to fill out the 18 electrons of argon first. So iron is going to be uh, 26 electrons. So we're going to fill out 18 of those 26 from argon. Okay, the 18 from argon. And then 4s2, 3d1, 3d2, 3d3, 3d4, 3d5, 3d6. So I'm getting 4s2, 3d6 for iron. Okay, again, uh, me, I like to just keep the 3 before the 4 because that's how the sequence goes. By the way, 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 plus the 18 electrons in argon gives us 26. And these are the 26 electrons that are going to be uh, part of iron. Okay, the next one on this list here is zinc. Okay, so let's look at zinc where it's situated in the periodic table. Zinc is situated right here. Okay, so this is good um, because all I need to do is um, if iron is 3d6, so for us 2, 3D1, 3D2, 3D3, 3D4, 3D5, 3D6, 3D7, 3D8, 3D9, 3D10. So zinc, 30 electrons. 18 are going to come from argon. Okay, 18 are going to come from argon. And then the rest are going to go in 4s2, 3D10. Argon has 18 electrons. And then 4s2, 3D10 would be the electron configuration for zinc. Again, this is me. I like to put the three before the four, but both of these are correct answers, in my opinion. All right, the next one on this list is nickel. So nickel um, is going to be right here. Nickel is 28. So 28 electrons, how will they fill up? Well, 18 are going to come from argon. So 28 nickel, okay, we got 18 from argon, and then 4s2, after 4s it goes to 3d, 3d1, 3d2, 3d3, 3d4, 3d5, 3d6, 3d7, 3d8. Nickel is going to be argon 4s2, 3d8. All right, the next one is tungsten. Tungsten is actually an exception to the rule uh, because it self-promotes. So let's take a look at this. Uh, realizing that tungsten is part of this region here in our periodic table where things get a little bit wonky. Uh, chromium, molybdenum, and tungsten are wonky to say the least. Copper, silver, and gold are wonky, uh, are a little bit weird to say the least. But let's just f uh, do tungsten first. Okay, So tungsten is 74. Okay, so 74, we will get... Um, 54 from xenon, 
tungsten is 74 element W. So 54, as we said before, comes from xenon. After xenon, we go to 6s2. After 6s2, be careful now, we take a detour and we fill up all of 4f. So 4f is 4f14 because there's 14 electrons that go into the f orbital. So after 6s2, we fill up all of the 14. Then we come back, we come back to 5d, and it's going to be 5d1, 5d2, 5d3, 5d4, and um, it's going to be 5d4, but it's actually not 5d4. Tungsten, along with uh, molybdenum and um, chromium, uh, they will actually do a self-promotion. So uh, the correct electron configuration for tungsten um, is the self-promotion. One of these electrons will actually self-promote. Uh, the reasoning behind this is if I draw the 5D orbital um, and the five slots, um, one, two, three, four, if one of the S electrons goes and self-promotes, uh, you get a half-filled 5D orbital, and that's stable. Uh, that's much more stable than this configuration. So the correct answer here for tungsten, uh, again, it belongs to those anomalies. It's going to be 6s2, 4f14, 5d5. Okay, this is uh, what we call self-promotion. And that is the electron configuration of that. Um, it only happens um, here. Uh, you may notice here you're going to promote to a completely half-filled 3D, completely half-filled 4D, or completely half-filled 5D. Here the promotion, self-promotion occurs to give you a full uh, 3D, 4D, or 5D. Okay, so self-promotion uh, is just a little bit more stable, energetically speaking. Uh, and, um, you know, I'm going to put this in order of principal quantum numbers. So if you want it in order, the principal quantum numbers, it's going to be 4f14, 4, 4, 5d5, and then 6s2. Okay. So they're a little bit tricky. Everything uh, is kind of ordinary when electrons go marching in. Uh, again, unfortunately, because of this one and this one, we have a little bit of a break in our uh, norm. Finally, the element TL. So what is the element TL? Um, element TL here it looks to me like thallium. So thallium, 81 electrons in thallium. So the 81 electrons in thallium will fill um, 54 from xenon. Okay, so thallium is here, 81. We get 54 from xenon. Okay, so after xenon, we go to 6s2. And then we're going to go all the way down to 4f14. And then we're going to come back up to 5d10. And then 6p1. OK, so after xenon, the order goes. The electrons are going to fill up 6s, 6s1 and 2, so 6s2. Okay, remember the order. After 6s, they're going to go fill up all these f orbital electrons. And we'll fill it up in its entirety, 4f14. And then we come back up, we march back up to 5D, 5D10, here's our thallium right here, 5D10. <clears throat> After 5D10, it's going to go to 6P1. And again, I like to get this in order of principal quantum number, so it's going to be 4F14, 5D10, 6S2, 6P1. Okay, so a little bit complicated uh, where all those 81 electrons are going to be housed, uh, but they're going to go in a very specific order, and that specific order is actually shown here.